Okay, let's see what this fellow claims and compare that to Scripture. According to the Holy Bible and God's true word. Out of JTA.org, Netanyahu says, The world must stand with Israel, not for our sake, but for theirs. Now, in case you're not familiar with the word, or maybe you haven't seen my videos for very long, it's very important to support the nation of Israel because it's biblical. In Genesis 12, starting in verse 1, Now the Lord said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee. And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curses thee. And in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. In thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. God says, I'll bless those who bless you, and curse him who curses you. He said he would make him into a great nation. What nation did he make him into? He made him into Israel. Because Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob... They All right, now let's go over what he claims. All right, I'll read this again. Genesis 12, 1 to 3. Now the Lord had said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house into a land that I will shew thee, and I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee and make thy name great and thou shalt be a blessing and I will bless them that bless thee and curse them that curse thee and in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed when it says get thee from thy kindred that means relatives get away from your relatives okay alright now let's talk about this nation here that is mentioned in Genesis 46 of Israel and God spake unto Israel in the visions of the night and said Jacob Jacob and he said here am I and he said I am God the God of thy father fear not to go down into Egypt for I will there make of thee a great nation all right Next. Now, I'm going to read something from Deuteronomy that I've been talking with people about, and it needs to get understood more and more because this guy that was talking in that video is 180 degrees from the truth, pretty much. Deuteronomy 31, 16 to 22. And the Lord said unto Moses, Behold, thou shalt sleep with thy fathers, and this people will rise up and go a whoring after the gods of the strangers of the land, whither they go to, me, to be among them, and will forsake me and break my covenant, which I have made with them. Then my anger shall be kindled against them in that day, and I will forsake them, and I will hide my face from them, and they shall be devoured, and many evils and troubles shall befall them, so that they will say in that day, Are not these evils come upon us, because our God is not, not among us? And I will surely hide my face in that day, for all the evils which they shall have wrought, and that they are turned unto other gods. Now therefore write ye this song for you, and teach it the children of Israel. Put it in their mouths, that this song may be a witness for me against the children of Israel. For when I shall have brought them into the land, which I swear unto their fathers, that floweth with milk and honey, and they shall have eaten and filled themselves and waxed and fat. Then will they turn unto other gods and serve them and provoke me and break my covenant. And it shall come to pass when many evils and troubles are befallen them that this song shall testify against them as a witness. For it shall not be forgotten out of the mouths of their seed. For I know their imagination which they go about even now before I have brought them into the land which I swear. Moses therefore wrote this song the same day and taught it the children of Israel. But I don't hear Netanyahu or any rabbis over there that Christ said to be not called singing, singing this song in their time of trouble 
when all this evil is come upon them, what's Judaism anyways? Okay, so they went uh, into the into the land of milk and honey and broke covenant. Jeremiah 32:21-23, and has brought forth thy people Israel out of the land of Egypt with signs and with wonders and with a strong hand and with a stretched out arm with great terror and has given them this land which thou didst swear to their fathers to give them a land flowing flowing with milk and honey and they came in and possessed it but they obeyed not thy voice neither walked in thy law they have done nothing of all that thou commandest them to do, therefore thou hast caused all this evil to come upon them. And they wonder why they're having problems. And again, back to Deuteronomy 31, verse 26, Take this book of the law and put it in the side of the ark of the covenant of the Lord your God, that it may be there for a witness against thee. This is Moses. Okay? He had the the old priesthood, the old Levitical priesthood, put a law witness there against them. So rabbis are totally clueless. They're totally, you know, a law unto themselves. Hebrews. This lines up with what Moses said in Deuteronomy against the old priesthood. Hebrews 7, 11, and 12, If therefore perfection were by the Levitical priesthood, for, for under it the people received the law, what further need was there that another priest should rise after the order of Melchizedek and not be called after the order of Aaron? For the priesthood being changed, there is made of necessity a change also of the law. And this is why uh, the synagogue of Satan over there, these people that are uh, into Judaism and go to synagogue of Satan, and uh, they're a law unto themselves, okay? This isn't by, I don't judge a person by their uh, ancestry or their, or their bloodlines at all like some people do, okay? The law, the new covenant law is written on some people's hearts, but if you're not circumcised in the heart like uh, King Bibi over there, who commits these abominations against uh, Jacob's real descendants in Palestinians. Sure, they have uh, Ishmael's blood in them, but they also have Jacob Israel's blood in them after they've been copulating in the desert over there for over 4,000 years. And even uh, Solomon married uh, the daughter of Pharaoh. And, and how, how many more, you know, that... You'd never know. These endless genealogies that they try to justify themselves through. Jeremiah 31, verses 31 to 33. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which, covenant, which my covenant they break, although I was and husband unto them, saith the Lord. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts and will be their God and they shall be my people. And this happened with me several, well, it was about uh, nine years ago it's been when Hebrews chapter I believe it's chapter 9 verse 28 talks about how to those who look for him shall he appear the second time without sin until salvation and he appeared to me a second time and he circumcised my heart and the spirit which is biblical in both the Old and New Testaments so this law is um, you know something that's written in people's hearts okay this is what this guy, this fellow, obviously uh, is not aware of. It didn't happen to him. Hebrews 8, verses 6 and 7. But now hath he obtained a more excellent ministry, by how much also he is the mediator of a better covenant, which was established upon better promises. For if that first covenant had been faultless, then should no place have been sought for the second. So these people live in this uh, lie. Uh, Rothschilds built uh, 
these Rothschild banksters had their hand in building that nation. They built their Israeli Supreme Court or funded the building of the Israeli Supreme Court. And I believe at least part of their parliament building, which is their Nesset building, was Rothschilds. So here we have a Rothschild banksters, opportunists, who have uh, had a hand in developing that nation. I've talked about how Truman was a Shriner and he wore one of those uh, fez on his head like a Shriners wear like uh, like they do over there uh, because from what I've read the Shriners swear an oath to the God of Mohammed in order to be a Shriner okay and this is a fellow who agreed with that nation of Israel garbage that they uh, handed people uh, that he handed people in 1948 okay I don't speak against anyone again based on their ancestry you know uh, this all has to do with a uh, law transgression people who reject Christ to serve their own gods they don't get circumcised in the heart and what we're going to end up seeing is uh, you know God's real people taking over the whole world it's, it's happening this is just a process right now but you know <laughs> this is ridiculous I have talked I have talked uh, written to this fellow before he doesn't want to hear he, you know or, or he hasn't wanted to hear maybe he will now I don't know but I keep seeing it you know and, the, and I, I've seen other people that say well God will curse those who curse Israel well why don't they why don't they say Abram just like it says in Genesis okay this is uh, they just twist these words all around um, this Netanyahu guy that these people speak in favor of is he he justifies things that are really an abomination to the God of Abraham he's not saved you know, I can. I mean, I can tell. I mean, my heart was circ if my heart was circumcised in the spirit, like I know it was, and I and I hear the things that come out of that guy's mouth, I know that he's a synagogue of Satan. So, pass it along, people. Thank you.